Introducing the all new More Beer Pro Keg Filler. Hi, I'm Colin Kaminsky. I'm the R&D designer at uh, morebeer.com. For 15 years, I ran a seven barrel brew house. Keg filling was always one of my least favorite tasks because of how long it took. So I had some spare time the other day, put this More Beer Pro Keg Filler together. Today, I'm here with Vito DeLucci of Imperial Beer Project, and we're gonna set up the unit and use it um, in his production environment. I didn't give him a lot of heads up as to how the system would work because I wanted to see really how he would utilize what tools I gave him. It's always nice to have a butterfly valve to shut off the beer in case there's an emergency. So the first place you connect to is at the butterfly valve. The butterfly valve goes through a sight gauge so you can see what's happening. You can see if you're pulling any yeast from the tank, you can see if there's air in the system, you can see if you're breaking CO2 out because you're trying to fill too quickly. The main beer tubing is made from reinforced silicone. I chose the reinforced tubing so that in case you want to sanitize with hot water, the most dangerous way to sanitize, I might add, the tubing would survive the experience. The keg couplers that I chose are the highest quality couplers that we sell. Um, they're all stainless steel. I've removed the check valves so that you can get beer to flow and CO2 to flow backwards. There's clear tubing on the CO2 lines so that you can use them as a sight gauge. If there's foam coming through the clear tubing, you're filling too quickly. If there's beer in the clear tubing, you know that the keg is full. The very highest point is a sample port that has no air bubble once it's been bled. The plunger sits at the very top of the system, making sure that no air can be in your keg filler. The More Beer Pro Keg Filler doesn't come with sanitizing instructions because every brewer is going to have their own preferred sanitization method. Vito hooked his up to a line cleaner, but you may want to recirculate with a pump or even recirculate some hot water through it, depending on your specific brewing needs. The secret to filling a keg with as little foam as possible and as little wasted beer as possible is to fill slowly with back pressure. Now it's very important that if your keg washer leaves a lot of CO2 pressure in your keg, that you purge some of that out so you don't push CO2 back into your tank. When you do that, you can rouse all the yeast back up and have to wait a day to get it to settle again. The first thing we're gonna do is purge some CO2 out of the keg, and then we're going to open up all the beer lines and get beer flowing into the keg. Now I like to take the CO2 out and spray it against the back of my hand, and I can just feel when it's the right flow rate from experience. Vito, uh, as you'll see, is going to put it in a bucket, and he knows by how the bucket sounds what's going on. When the keg is finished filling, you'll notice that there's liquid in the clear tubing in the CO2 side of the coupler. Um, that tells us that all of the CO2 has been purged and all of the air has been purged from the keg. Shutting off the CO2 valve always seemed the wisest to me because it left the keg pressurized to the tank. Even though there's no headspace, you probably won't lose any CO2 if you shut the beer off first. I always preferred to shut the CO2 off first. Once you have one keg started, it's very easy to get another keg started and running in, in parallel. The advantage of this system over a single keg filler is it takes about seven to 10 minutes to fill a 15.5 gallon keg if you're doing one at a time, depending on the temperature and carbonation level of the beer and the temperature of the keg. With this setup, since you're filling four in parallel, you can get one filling, and even if you're gonna fill really slow, it takes only two and a half minutes per keg to fill. While you're getting one keg uncoupled, the other one's topping off, and you get in a rhythm, and it's pretty easy to run a seven barrel batch, so 14 kegs, in 45 minutes to an hour, including sanitization and cleanup. Hey, I'm here with Vito at Imperial Beer Project. Um, he's letting us test out our new keg filler, and uh, kind of wanted to go through some of the things. We filled a couple of kegs already, but I wanted to go through a couple of things that, that you did when we got set up. So Vito, how did you end up sanitizing this to get ready to go? So I used a service keg, uh, filled it up with sanitizer, just pushed that through with gas, uh, bled it out. I liked this feature at the end here. It's nice to be able to, to get all that uh, gas out and uh, allow liquid to flow through, and then opened up each valve on, on all the four um, to, to push sanitizer through there as well. 
And then and then I saw you purged all the sanitizer out. Yep. Yeah. So then uh, again, pushed uh, pushed that through with some gas uh, to to get that out of there. Uh, and then hooked up the beer, um, started to move beer through there, and then uh, bled that out too. So it's you know the sanding the gas the beer. And then I noticed we also had to uh, kind of tilt it a little to get the bubbles around. Yeah, let that air and kind of make its way up to that. Make, make it up to the high yep. point there. Yep. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And what beer did, did we end up filling with here? Uh, this was a, a white stout uh, that we're doing for the holiday season. So, oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah it looks very, very light in here for a stout. Yeah, well, it's a white stout. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> a, it's like one of those mind things. You're like, wow, this is roasty and and all that, but it's uh, you know a very light SRM, so uh, an interesting beer. Beautiful. Thank you for the help. Thank you. This is awesome. The More Beer Pro Keg Filler is available now at morebeer.com and morebeerpro.com. If you're a brewery and don't have a pro account with us, create one today at morebeerpro.com.